welcome to another Roblox tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make simple loadout GUI for your game. So we're here in my little game I've created and our job here is to kill Jack. The only problem is our player comes with all the weapons and that is something that is not favorable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the starter GUI, we're going to insert a screen GUI, we're going to insert a frame text label and a text button. Once we've done that, we're going to go into the size and the properties of our frame. We're going to change it to 1, 0, 1, 0. Now if you don't need to exactly follow me, you can customize it to however you want it, but this is how I'm going to do it. Next, we're going to go into the background color and we're going to change to a color that we would like. This seems like a nice color. We're going to grab the text label, center it, and change it to loadout menu. We're going to scale it a bit, maybe not that much. And we are going to do text scale, background transparency 1, and our font into Ubuntu. Since that's how I like it. Next, we're going to put the button there. We're going to text scale it and we're going to change it to Ubuntu. Nothing else I need to do to the button. Once we've done that, we're going to grab the weapons that we want. These four I'm going to use. And we're going to go into replicated storage. I'm going to create a folder and we're going to call it weapons. Then we're going to click the first weapon and shift click the bottom one to select everything in between. I want to put that in the weapons folder. One, while we're here in the replicated storage, we're going to make a remote event and we're going to name it handle, oh, handle Loadout. Once that's done, we are going to go into back into our screen GUI. We're going to our text button and we're going to insert a local script and a string string value. Once we've done that, um, we're going to duplicate that value and we're going to rename it to primary and secondary. We're going to name the secondary to whatever you want your secondary weapon to be, so cl classical time bomb. And you got to make sure that it matches with the name of the tool, the weapon, or else it won't work. Classic time bomb, not classical. And we're gonna put here classic sword. Once we've done that, we are gonna go into our uh, local script and we're gonna start typing. So first, we're gonna want to reference our remote event in the replicated storage. So we're gonna call it handle loadout. And we're going to go to game dot replicated storage dot handle loadout. Once we've done that, we're going to reference our primary and secondary weapons. So we're going to do script dot parent dot primary and script dot parent dot secondary, and that's it for referencing. Once we're going to do that, we're going to want to detect the button being pressed. So script dot parent which is our text button and mouse one button mouse button one click which means if the button was clicked we're going to connect a function so we're going to execute this function when it buttons click and it's just going to be handle loadout dot colon fire server so we're going to fire uh, an event to our remote event and we're going to pass in primary and secondary. If this doesn't make sense right now, it will later. I'm going to explain it. Once we've done that, we're going to do script.parent.parent.parent, which is the screen GUI for our, for our uh, loadout menu. And we're going to do dot .enabled, if that is right. Uh, yes, I didn't put the text label or the frame properly. And we're going to do equals false. 
which will just stop showing the GUI until we die since that it resets on spawn so once that's done we are done for this script we can just go ahead and duplicate this twice we can move it we're gonna format it here a bit and uh, we're gonna change the text so we're gonna say sword uh, slingshot and RPG we're gonna go into the buttons and we have to make sure that we change their values so that we're not getting a sword rocket launcher and we're gonna get classic slingshot so once we've done that we're done with the GUI we no longer need it for now we're gonna go into our script serv server script service we're gonna get a new script and the first thing we're gonna do is reference to replicated storage just local replicated storage equals game dot replicated storage once we've done that we're going to do local handle loadouts because we need that remote event and we're going to do replicate storage dot handle loadout handle loadout <coughs> so now we have to detect when someone clicks that button it's going to activate the fire server function which is going to send um, a message to our handle loadout that it's been fired and what this what we're gonna do is we're gonna do handle loadout dot on server event so when it's triggered the handle loadout we're gonna connect a function and the functions is the parameter this function we're gonna take are player primary and secondary now I'm gonna take some of my time and explain you can skip ahead a few seconds if you don't really care but what happens is when we do fire server we're passing primary and secondary along with our message so that's why we have primary and secondary but it all automatically puts player as a parameter it tells us who sent it so once we've done that we are going to reference them we're gonna get the weapons that they requested so we're gonna do local P weapon and local S weapon primary and secondary and they're going to equal to replicate storage dot weapons col uh, square brackets primary dot value you could also do find first child if you prefer and we're gonna do clone and that's just gonna make a brand new clone for example of the sword it's just gonna duplicate it in there and not gonna do anything yet we're gonna do the same thing with the secondary weapon except we're gonna change it to secondary once we've done that we're going to move the weapon because we do not want it here it is pointless to have it in here we're gonna move it into our player's backpack how we're gonna do that is we're gonna do pl player uh, p dot what p weapon dot parent equals player the parameter player here dot backpack same thing with the secondary and that's pretty much it if we go into game now you should see that our menu pops up if we click sword oh now we have a sword and a bomb and we can fight jack here and if we somehow die we can the GUI will reappear once more 
and we can do let's say slip shot oh no I did something wrong yeah I didn't change it classic slip shot And that should be it. Um, I hope you've been enjoyed this video, and if it helped you and you enjoyed it, please leave a like so other people can find it. And if you have any questions, I'm uh, not the best scripter, but I'll try to answer them in the comment section below. And if you have any requests that I, I you could want me to try to script. Uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below as well. But uh, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.